Hey everybody and welcome to Ark of the Dragon Queen Intermission Adventure where of course our overlays are not as they are. It's it's um a most common thing happening in the realm of D D. That's always fun. Okay, Fama, it's it's this gonna like a half face over on there. So what's up? Welcome welcome to our uh, intermission adventure. Yay! <laughs> so for those who don't know who you are, would you care to <coughs> would you care to present yourself? Me? Yes, uh, you. Well, uh, I guess if you don't know who I am, then you don't watch many other shows. And just uh, I I uh, I'm a moderator on Chucky's channel. Um, I love D and D stuff, which is why I'm probably here. Um, there's not really much to say about me. I guess I'm from Germany. If you wonder where the accent comes from, so yeah. <laughs> Good, and uh, I say, what's up? How is it going? Uh, not much. Uh, I feel like today we're either going to die or we're going to live. So, I mean, <laughs> I yeah. the odds on either one. So, it's, I guess... It's always... It's, it's D&D, &D, dude. It always happens. You either die horribly or you live horribly. I feel like more or less I die more. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, maybe yeah. Just I think I die this. first, though. I'm pretty sure. Let's, so let's hope time. that your curse doesn't uh, go onwards in this part. <laughs> okay, so you guys, uh, we're here to let's kind of explain what we're doing here because um, Robert has some uh, work-related uh, things. We decided to put a pause in our campaign and do a small intermission adventure with our prayers. Simon will be joining us next week. He can't make it this week. And Justin is probably going to join us in an hour or two. Uh, I'm not exactly sure on him. But besides that, we're starting our adventure as it is with the prayers we have now. And why don't you guys uh, let's jump into the world of Faerun? Yay! Sure. So, uh, you guys are in the town of Waterdeep. You know that Waterdeep is a legendary town on the Sword Coast. Um, and you are in a tavern named the, named the Wayfarer's West. You guys know each other beforehand? Or uh, are you here, you meet by chance? Um... I'm not really sure if we know each other beforehand, but I am uh, Goliath, so I am one of them large dudes from that new uh, Player's Companion. If you guys have seen that book, it's so, pretty cool. Um, don't, don't tell us the name. Describe your Goliath. Okay, my Goliath is roughly 9 foot tall, which is really <laughs> tall, tall by a Goliath. He's on the uh, age of... Um, he's on the age of... on the edge of medium. He's still a medium creature. But he's like yeah, exactly almost, at almost. those people that kind of definitely on the very edge of medium. Um, yeah, if you can imagine, <clears> it's pretty much a half giant cut type creature. Um, very like tribal looking, uh, mountainous going, very hardy. I guess would be one of the better ways to describe a creature mm -hmm. like this. I guess they're um, kind of warring, so I'd have a few scars and everything from days of fighting, and yeah, just not wearing any real armor as well so <laughs> just just naked in the wind um maybe a few clothes you know tossed oh. in here and there to, <laughs> oh. I uh, hope to so. cover up, okay. cover up a few yeah. things you know i mean there's practically armor right it's armor to the naked eyes of all those who watch so plus okay, five ac you are standing at a table with somebody who is this uh, somebody fama so uh, this somebody is uh, Sunari. Sunari is a is a high elf. Um, she's wearing green and brown clothes and uh, a simple leather armor. She has can you a. Actually, um, can you actually turn your microphone just a bit down? Yeah, I can try. Wait a second. It's yeah, going to Skype. take some time though. Um, you just use the, the on Skype thingy. Just take yeah. it down a quarter. Wait a second. That's why I asked you before, honey. Yeah, but I, uh, I, it was okay then. Yeah, give me a second. Give me a second. Two. 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 Is that better? Uh, now it's I can. A can't. bit too quiet. That's I think. a bit too quiet. Yeah. Only a quarter down, not to a quarter. Maybe you guys just talk a bit, and I'm trying to do this. <laughs> okay, so I say, what, what do you like about your Goliath best? Um. 
I don't know, but it doesn't wear armor, something like that. Uh, he, I could tell you a bit about the backstory of my character, if you want. Yeah, feel free. Um, so my character, no, it's Simon's character, but I don't know if I want to meet kind of thing. So like no, again, no, no, but well, like, I think I think maybe, we'll go into that whenever Simon joins us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, my character's name is Dawn Gazer. I mean, that is the name given by the chieftain of the tribe that I came from. For um, once upon a time, watching the uh, more uh, the dawn instead of have like kind of standing at a post looking out. Uh, for like intruders and so it's kind of a disrespectful name I suppose um, but it is the name that has most recently been given to him so he kind of has to keep it it's a whole thing with Goliath it's kind of strange like that um, yeah other than that he's kind of been wandering after that kind of exile from his tribe for failing cocking up such a bad way uh, so yeah he meet up with uh, someone who I mean Simon can tell you that and yeah, helped a few people, and is now almost a folk hero or such. Okay. Because of that. Interesting. Okay. Is it working now? Am I too? too oh bad, no, it's quiet. it's good now. It's good. Yeah. Now. Are we yeah. good? Yeah. Very good. So okay, tell us about changes, just tell, me. tell us about Tsunari. Yeah. Okay. So second try. Um, as I said, Tsunari. She's she's um, a high elf. No, um, no, doesn't work. You need to do this a third time. What? Start, start is it too... <laughs> I'm, just, I I'm just joking. Chucky, fuck you! I'm just kidding. <laughs> shit. No. Um, no. Um, oh my gosh. She is, no, she is somebody who's uh, very interested in magical things. Um, she used to work at a magic shop, actually, where they try to collect uh, magical items from, from different parts of the world. Um, there were some problems there. Let's just say she doesn't work there anymore. Um, and she's generally very interested in secrets, in exotic things, in magical things. And I guess that would be the reason why she's actually talking to the Goliath, because there aren't too many of them, I guess, around. Yeah. I guess he's kind of exotic. I'd, I'd say that less like exotic, but I mean like pretty rare, I guess, would be right. Yeah, so I guess that, that would be the reason why she'd be talking to him, because he's probably the most interesting person to her in the whole world. Uh, yeah, he's probably the tallest person in the whole town. Yeah, that's right. Tallest nine foot. That's not really important <laughs> unless you're trying to go into like a goblin cave. We're not going into goblin caves, are we, Chucky? <laughs> I don't, know. don't do this to me. Okay, so I'm just gonna ping you on the map so you guys know where we are. Okay. Yeah. And now you guys are in the way for us west. Um, what's up? I guess being poorer of coin than Dawn Gazer once was. He wishes to seek um, some kind of work or some kind of interesting um, thing to occupy his time. Okay. So Not one to want to sit down for many days in a row. Is, uh, is Tsunami on the same page, looking for adventure? Yeah, basically. I think um, for, the, for the past month she's been uh, traveling a lot and she basically just joins Whoever she finds interesting or useful, so she's she's on the job hunt as well right now. Okay, so um, you guys just stand over in the. Do you want to do anything specific in the in the tavern? Um, I mean, if if we're looking for adventure, I guess I could go up to the barkeep okay. and see what's going on like that. This big like uh, round bellied man with a nice oiled mustache looks at you. And says, "Yes, yes. How how can I help you? Where do I find adventure? Adventure? No. <laughs> uh, looks like we do at you. What do you mean by that? A <laughs> job for a big man like me. Ah, yes, I understand now. Uh, well, ah, uh, you know, I might know something. I might not know something." Oh, well, that's pretty silly. My you memory should know is kind or of not fuzzy. Know. I just, I just uh, walk up to the bartender. I, I push the. I, I mean, I, it looks like I try to push the big guy aside, but it's probably not working because he's just too tall. Mm -hmm. And I just uh, slip the the barkeep five silver. Oh yes, yes, my memory is is refreshed. Um, this oh. rumor, he kind of like puts his um, shoulder looks like right and left. He says, there's this rumor in town. Saying some sailors going out fishing and never coming back. 
People just believe they ran away from their wives. It's pretty easy to make it here to Daggerford. It's following the coast. But some people say maybe it's more than that. Maybe something's happening in the sea. That's about it. Besides a couple of raiders on the way to the Dead Man's Mere and on the way to Neverwinter, nothing much. Where do they go fishing? Stars Bay from here. You can find it easily. Just go outside and follow the smell of sweat, salt, and smelly fish. I just I just run towards the Goliath and I say, uh, so do you feel like sailing a bit? Are sailing you sailing sounds like fun. <laughs> but why would we sail? We are here for adventure. Well, maybe the fishermen know know more about this. You should ask them. I shall do that. Where are the fishermen? <laughs> she looks at you as if he's talking to a retarded child. He's like, Stars Bay are where all the fishermen are at. Why didn't you say so? We shall go to Stars Bay. Whatever. And he pockets the uh, silver. I thought I, I thought I never heard a keyboard loud in an eye size. I'm sorry. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not my. It's not my stuff. So. Jokes yeah. on you, Chucky. That was actually me. So. I'm yeah. actually going to mute myself. And well, so both of you guys. Both of you guys have DX races. I. I feel like an outsider. Dude, you, have, you have good chairs. I uh, don't have a good chair. It's so comfy, Chucky. You don't understand. You have the you have the so green comfy. screen though. And that yes, that's very comfy. That's yeah, I, you I can just, pretend to have a DX racer. I, I just, like, just wrap build, myself. Like a picture behind it. It's fine. It'll I wrap myself like in it at night. Oh, uh, it's sad. Yeah. Just yeah. cry about the DX racer. Okay. So, um, what do you guys do? So, Dawn Gazer says, don't call me ugly, and then just leaves to try and head out to um, Stars Bay. I, I look towards the, the uh, barkeeper, I guess, and I just shrug, and I follow the big guy. I said, can you change your name in Roll20 so I can actually pronounce that? Okay, um... <laughs> so, he sh so she doesn't okay. accidentally say Dawn Gazer instead of Dawn Gazer? <laughs> that, would be, that, would be, that would be pretty funny. I'd like that. <laughs> okay, so um, you guys are going over to Stars Bay. Um, it's pretty easy to find, as the as the uh, barkeep said, just follow the smell. Um, in about 10-15 minutes, you actually find um, Stars Bay. It's a very big uh, bay, filled with piled with ships. Uh, most of them uh, very commercial ships. All of them very big. Uh, that I mean, three master shifts, two master shifts, um, and they just pile on until the end of the dock, where you see a multitude of small ships, like small wooden boats, that you can easily imagine are the sailors' boats, the ones that are well, not sailors' boats, but the fisher boats. Is there like an uh, like a small tavern or something like that nearby, or is it like yes, most yes, of the there tavern is. In the there is. The uh, Sailor's Wench is actually the tavern nearby. Well, it's a tavern and it's a brothel at the same time. Okay. So I guess I guess I'll go into that and I'll ask. The sailors have been disappearing. Tell me about that. Like just in general, like just saying it to no one. But I guess my voice would be pretty loud. Being so so. you walk inside. Let's not say everybody looks at you, of course. <laughs> everybody stares at you, this big ass mud. People still talk, they, they kind of still talk their own stuff while looking at you, and you say that, complete silence. Nope, everybody looks at you, you hear a couple of taps, you hear a couple of hands on swords, um, you, don't, you don't hear anything on cheating, and the bartender looks at you, what gives you that idea, son? And what would you like to know? I don't remember the name of the innkeeper, but it was an innkeeper. Well, 
Whatever that innkeeper said. Well, fine and dandy. No Sega disappears in our watch. Okay. I hit out the bar. I hit out of the bar. <laughs> I I stay there and I, I wait for for a minute or two and then I go towards the guy who said there is no problem. Okay. Okay. What can I do you for you, fine lady? I say, listen, he's not, I mean, he seems pretty tall and rough, but he's actually a folk hero, where he's from, you know. I mean, he seems intimidating, I understand that, but I think he's really, I mean, he's really strong. Uh, give me a, give me a persuasion check. <sighs> Where's my persuasion? Let me see. Yeah, okay. Are there like any animals on the dock? Uh, there are animals being held. Just mine. Yes. Uh, okay, so nine. Uh, no, like you. Dogs you. He seems intrigued. Like he isn't completely pushing you out, and he says, "Well, uh, put it like this: our business is our business. If we go on paddling and trying to ask help from everybody." We'd go out of business in days. Now, I, I understand that. I mean, I know that sailors are very proud people. Let's say that people were disappearing. Let's just say. Hypothet... Do you know that word? Yes, that. You're not there. He's... <laughs> You're outside. I'm looking around, I'm just standing outside, just like... <laughs> he's looking through the window saying, hypothetically. <laughs> yes, he's trying to... Hypothetically. Let's say, maybe it was happening. It would be... Up north, up the coast. Near... A couple of small islands. People who go there, it said that's a lot... There's all those big fishes that work around and you can uh, can catch. We had a couple of them. Big fishes, as big as a man. You just catch one gives more than a couple weeks pay. Let's just say that some fishermen like going there and risking to find these types of fish. And recently some started uh, not coming back. My bet is they just, instead of going up, they went down towards Daggerfort and look of a better life. But that's just me. And I'm sure that if these disappearances stopped, whoever stopped them, we would be very grateful. Well, say you don't know anybody in particular who regularly, I mean, who still goes fishing there? from time to time, in that area? Hmm. I might. There's this man. Old Joe. He's an old fisherman, one of the oldest. Does he have, does he have two pig legs and like a, a hook for one of his hands? Uh, do, do you do you go inside and ask? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll kind of I'll kind of dip my head back in at this point and be like, "What's taking so long?" They said they don't know. It is fine. I'll 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 be coming in a second. Just wait outside. I'll be right with you. I will do that. <laughs> go wait outside. He says. He's an old fisherman. He likes to take a risk. He goes. Oh, far into the sea, sometimes even to the isles there. I don't know if he's gonna go soon. You go and talk to him. He has the black wood boat and the head of the pier. Mm, I will do that, good sir. Thank you very much for the information. Remember, and this whole talk was hypothetical. <laughs> I, I wink at him and I say, yeah, I, I understand. And Nods then I his eat. head. Uh, as you go out, um, <coughs> see, somebody does actually slap your ass. <laughs> okay. 
Interesting. I just I just freeze for a second. Then the I man, turn around. The man looks at you. Hey, sweetie. Fancy you get time with a man of the seas? <laughs> I just I just uh, I just chuckle and I say You're really lucky I'm having such a good day today. And I just smirk and I walk out. Can make your day even better. Yeah, I just I just wave at him like <laughs> okay, you go outside and uh, Dawn Gazer is there. What are you doing, Dawn Gazer? I'm just looking around. If there's any dogs or anything, I'll go up and like try and pet the doggy or anything like that. <laughs> oh my god, the poor old man's like. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, a doggy, doggy. there's a doggy about and you start petting him. And people I'll go handle and I'll go pet the dog and like handle. Can I make like a handle animals check to see mm -hmm. if like do it, do I can it. pet him the best? Yes. <laughs> Pretty clean pet. Oh, I I pet the dog, not that good. But it's better than a normal person petting the dog, not that good, I guess. Yeah, you pet the dog. He kind of like he kind of like snarks, knocks at you. Uh, but you like your hand is so big and you you, you pet him so completely that he doesn't really ca he doesn't he can't really do anything about it. Good doggy. <laughs> <laughs> Good doggy. Okay. I I walk towards him and I say, "Are you, are we making friends now? Is that is that the new goal?" Friends. Yeah, friends. This is this is doggy. <laughs> Good doggy. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hi, hi, Good doggy. doggy. Nice, <laughs> nice to meet you. So, so listen. Uh. Dawn, we we need to we need to get going. I have the information we need. Okay, where are we going? Um, well, first of all, we're going to the pier, and we're looking for an old black boat, and a, and an old guy who's called Joe, and he's can probably going to. I see an old black boat, Chucky. Sorry, what? How many old black boats can I see? Uh, no, black wood boat. Okay, how many old black wood boats can I see then? Uh, well, you don't see an old one, you actually see a pretty new one in the head of the pier. It looks um, in a great shape. Um, it's a five-man boat. It has like a small chest in the back of it. It has a, a lot of um, what you'd say as high-quality nets, but you're not really acknowledged in this, but they look, they look very like good. So like high thread count kind of thing. With yeah, the, uh, it's like it. It just looks. Thinner. It it looks as if it's not made of the other rope nets that you you saw before. The actual thread yeah. of it it's is a lot better. Uh, a yeah. lot. How can I put this? Um, like a, a if it's like thinner, that would be better as well because you could catch small fish or more fish. Mm -hmm. Exactly. As well as the big ones. And you have a there's a trident as well on the ship, kind of in the back of it on the back seat. Cool. On the back seat. Okay. I guess I'll, I'll, how, I'll how point you, where it is. How do you put that? Is back seat. <laughs> back seat fishing. <clears throat> so is the is the old guy around? Can we see him from here? You if see, not, I... you see a group of about five people uh, standing and drinking something from uh, wooden mugs, standing on some boxes, uh, just a bit of head on the pier. Okay. I just I just uh, talk, talk on Dawn Gaze a sleeve if he, if he has one. <laughs> I say okay, let's go. And I, I, I say I don't have there. a sleeve, but what? I'd probably have a shirt on. Okay, then I talk on the on the shirt. How probably <laughs> is this? How I mean, you, you think you say probably one hundred probably. <laughs> I, I probably mean, like have a shirt. <laughs> okay. Right? Do you either have a shirt or you don't have a shirt? I guess it would be like. I guess it would probably be similar to the old-fashioned version of like a Hawaiian shirt that hasn't been buttoned up or something like that. <laughs> so this is like a, a half-giant in a Hawaiian shirt. What else are you wearing? I'm really curious. I don't know, like shorts and like uh, the equivalent of sandals. I guess. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, and what weapons do you have? Um, I have a flail and I have a wooden shield by my side. Okay, <laughs> just, just think about it. Hawaiian giant. Which I got like a, a, a really small backpack on me. Like it's a big backpack, but like compared to my size, it looks really small on my bag too. 
It's it's like it's like one of those um what do you call it a very big band carrying their girlfriend's backpacks. It, it's a bit too high and a bit too small. Yeah, I it's like I don't know. I'm from the mountains and this you is have probably a straw like hat? really hot. This is <laughs> like a vacation. You have a straw hat as well. That sounds awesome. I want to have a straw hat. You have a that straw sounds... hat. Yeah. Okay. Let's see that that one from chat was good. You have a straw hat. Okay. So Thanks. yeah, you you look like a tourist, but with weapons and shield. So I don't have do sunglasses do? though, unfortunately, because I don't think they existed. Okay. So what do you guys do? Yeah, I should walk towards the group of people. You walk towards the people, the rabble kind of dies down. Uh, this man, uh, big, long, uh, dreaded, so like maybe <coughs> with like white beer, uh, white beard, uh, beard, wow, that's a new with one. The white bear. <laughs> he has a so white I bear on his face. some bears soon enough. His uh, <laughs> dreads are actually like filled in with golden, like ca caught with golden uh, wings. And he has an eye patch on his right eye. He looks at you up. I, what do you want? So, are you the Wait, famous? You said. <laughs> is that your name? Why would you say I? And then ask me what I want. Big guy, not as sharp as two in the shed, is he? He makes up for it with this uh, hey, power. Don't be so mean. Also, he has very sensitive feelings, as far as I can tell, and I've only known him for about. Okay, hour. you're talking too much. What do you want? We're looking for old Joe. Is that you? Maybe. Who's looking? Us, me, and her. <laughs> <laughs> We're told you are going fishing up north. You're told wrong. For the big fishes. You're told wrong. I'm not going up north. No, Are that's a pity because we we really wanted to go there. Are you going south? His um, give me all of you. Give me a, both of you. Give me a perception check. A perception check. No, I'm the one with the bad perception. Jan. Hey. So Donge is Whoa, here. the bad perception. I have like nine foot tall, you like bell. Like <laughs> see his eyes glint when you say I really want to. And he looks up at you and says, How great is your need? <laughs> What's the color of your need? Blue? <laughs> I'm not sure what you're saying right now. De it's the deepest blue. The yeah. color of our need. The yeah, sea is ready, blue. Ready, ready, what's the color of your coin? Can I, I guess, rub his uh, head it, like this? Oh. Well, the thing is, if there is a possibility that somebody is going there, it could be golden. Just as my hair. Could be golden, you say? Oh, yes. He looks back at his men. You men, scatter off. Go on to the tavern. Uh, in a couple of seconds, they kind of scatter off. Not you, Davy. You're standing here. And this uh, kind of 18, maybe 19-year-old boy uh, stands in the back. Uh, and sits on the box there. And says, well, how much are we talking about here? I just look at Dawn Gaze and I say, am I going to... You don't have any money, right? You don't look like you have money. I have money. <laughs> oh, Why God. do you ask this of me? I mean, how far would it, would you take us? How many days of travel would that be? Yeah, It's just uh, one day of the coins, alright? To get there, it's gonna be a, to take a full day. Usually sailors get her a full day camp on a spot. There's a good camping spot near before the islands. And then the next day they fish. Mm. Okay. Again. I'm not here to just dwaddle about. I have better things to do. You know, show me how much you wanna you want to go there. 
And now let's see if I want to take you. Would it not be better if you offered pr a price to us? It would. For you. Okay, I will start small then. One copper piece. <laughs> Baby, go get your ass. I just, I just put my hand into my purse and I take Two out Two copper pieces. I take out five gold pieces and I just open my hand in front of him. Baby, wait. That's better, young lady. He takes the gold. I look at it and I say, I'm probably older than you, though. <laughs> If you're gonna be on my ship, you're gonna be young lady or ras. Which one do you like, ras or young lady? I, I take a lady any day. <laughs> he smiles and his teeth are kind of they're, they're really um what do you call it? Like green, like almost completely green. Your and one of them green. here is you completely might have black. Scurvy. Okay, I just smile back at him with my whitest smile that I can muster. You need to eat more lemons and limes. Go get your gear. I'll test for the waters. I have my gear. I turn around and point to the ba uh, backpack on my back. <laughs> he looks at Davy, uh, does this with his head, and Davy kind of jumps in the boat and starts doing something with a couple of sticks and a flag. Seemingly he's trying to probe where the uh, currents are pushing. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And um, after a couple of minutes, Davy jumps back and says, uh, um, Father, uh, it's, it's, it's all good. Uh, we, we can go now. Um, we might make it there until night. Oh, the boy. Come on. I sit in the boat. Like, I guess I'll be on like, one side of the boat and then like three people will be on the other side. Or something like that. <laughs> No, he kind of puts you on the side where there's no luggage. He kind of puts you in the front of the boat where there's a lot of nets and stuff in the back. So it kind of it kind of balances out. I guess I'll sit down and like I guess my knees like really high up when I'm sitting down. Um, the, but like, you, it, this is pretty weird. Um, so as you sit down like in the boat, the boat normally should sink more for for somebody your size and weight, but it barely moves that much. Okay. I weigh like 340 pounds, Chucky, plus yeah. gear. Yeah. <clears throat> I have 500 pounds of gear, Chucky. Just kidding, just kidding. He oh. smiles. He smiles kind of as you sit in it. And he says, come on, boy. You're money, young lady. Yeah, I follow. She sits down and says, uh, well, now, I'll be getting you there, and I'll be waiting at a camping spot. Anything more than that, and I need to be get better paid. Okay. <laughs> no, it's its head. I'll be there for two days. He starts. Okay. He <clears throat> it starts at the boat. Like takes out the like. It's basically tied to the pier. It unties it from the pier. Adjusts the uh, what do you call it, the small. I completely forgot the na the name of that. <laughs> the what? And all the ship terms. The, Why would you I forgot, the back seat? Oh, all <laughs> the ship terms. Um, the back seat of the ship. Is the thing that wind beats in and the move and the ship moves. Yes. The sail. The sail. Yes. A ah, sail. You forgot the sail. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, the sail. Yes. The sail. Uh, he adjusts the sail <laughs> and. Um, you guys start on uh, moving up north, the current. Okay. Um, anything specific you guys want to do? I want to point at the sail. Point at the sail, and he says, Yeah, what about it? That's a sail. <laughs> I guess he's the brightest of his clan, right? Where did you find this one, young lady? His bodyguard or something? I no! <laughs> I just shrug and I say, Bar? That's where I usually find interesting people. I am nah. strong. And I, I knock against against the wood and I say, Listen, your boat is special, isn't it? Blackwood. Genuine. Made by Don't the Mirfolk me themselves. 
Hmm. It Interesting. Will, it will never sink. Wow. It smiles. Must have been very expensive. Well. Yes, it had it, its cost. Put it like yes. that. I start to rock the boat gently. I grab my hands on either side and just start gently rocking the boat. It doesn't. It doesn't really rock. It, it, it rocks, but it seems like everything in it it's in, in complete balance. Like you rock it, but the stuff in it doesn't really move. So you know how how hard like you move. Somebody inside of the boat when you rock it starts moving violently to the sides, because that's yeah. how a boat kind of works. This doesn't do that. You rock it, but everybody kind of easily has a balance on the boat. Is this boat magic? Nah, only Blackwood. Uh, has this hollow thing inside beneath where we keep our feet. Uh, and you notice, like, it's not a circular kind of boat like that. It actually has a, uh, what do you call it? a layer of, like, a floor. It keeps a better balance than any other boat. Near Fork. He smiles. Very impressive. I, I mean, I'm, I have a straight face when I say it. I mean it, honestly. Not enough money for the magical stuff. That's for the bigger ships. I heard nowadays all the bigger ships employ uh, wavefinders, something like that. Well, why would you need such an expensive ship if you only go fishing, right? Well, you don't get to have all of this stuff by having a poor boat. And he points like to the trident, to the sail, to the boat itself, to the uh, nets that he has. Mm -hmm. I'm an old sailor, and only the good ones make it to old. Why is that? Well, I was just saying, young ones usually take a lot of risks. Like traveling to places and the isles. Is that where we're going safe. now? Yeah, you're going to the isles. <clears throat> Okay. So, do you have an opinion on what is actually happening there? Yeah. Went once. Hmm. That's when this happened. And he points back to a small hole in the floor. Mm -hmm. uh, oh he takes out... Um, is there like a cork in the floor where there's a hole? No, no, because again, like there's a floor and there's another side of the ship below it. So, you know, oh, how, okay. you know how it... I don't know, yeah. there's an actual name for it, but uh, it's like the underbelly of the ship. Okay. And he shows you, like, from a, in a, in a cloth, uh, it seems to be a spear of some kind. He shows it to you. It's a bone spear carved with different weird symbols on the shaft. Mm -hmm. I cast says, Detect Magic <laughs> as a ritual over the time we get our take to get there. Nothing's magical. Besides, hey, do you have anything maybe, magical on maybe, you? Maybe Sonari has something magical on her. But besides <laughs> that, absolutely nothing's magical. I am completely magical as a person. Do you have like a spell book <laughs> or something? <clears throat> can, can I actually have a look at the bone spirit as he let me yeah, take yeah. it? Yeah, he gets to take it. Uh, really do, I, do I recognize the symbols from somewhere? Uh, you can give me language? a nature check if you want to. Oh, oh, I can do that. I can do that. Do it. <laughs> I just have this. I have the spear in my hands, and he just takes it. And I'm like, really? <laughs> really? No, I do not know. <laughs> okay, I, I take it back and I try it. Let's see. Uh... Well, you're smart. Mm -hmm. Did this thing pierced my hole here? Oh, my floor here. It was you know, shadow. It was a night. Threw it from one of the aisles. After we caught one of them big fishes, one of them jaw fishes with the fins on the back. Oh, sounds uh, dangerous. A shark? Mm, not sure what the name is. We just call them big fishes. Fishes on the island. Technically, sharks aren't fish. <laughs> what do you mean to say, big one? Okay, I, I completely forgot the fact that we are. Uh, I'm are still they? playing the medieval music music instead of, of playing another music. Yeah, we want some sea music. We don't get that too often. Give us some. 
I'm giving so, chat. You can some beach and stuff. Sharks. Oh, can... Wait, sharks. You can't listen to me. <laughs> Great. Um, sharks are. I don't think are they fish. They are. I think they are. They're fish. I'm not. How do they make it's babies? Fun. You're like, from are the they mountains. mammals or are they fishes? They're definitely not mammals. I know that. Okay, so then they're fishes. I think. Probably. I think they're a, a certain type of fish, though. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I, there's no. The more you know, kids. The, the more you know. There's absolutely no. Mu oh, oh. There's a music done. Hopefully, this is good. So. Um, you guys continue on traveling. It takes you the whole day. You find nothing out from the uh, weird bone spear, but he offers to um, <coughs> keep, uh, let you keep the spear. Uh, okay. Do you want it? Or, I mean. You're going out there? Yeah. I don't like it much. I guess I take it. Is a spear a simple weapon? Uh, the spear is a simple weapon, yes. So okay. It, right, so uh, you guys um, are moving it. You pretty close to the um, shore itself, and eventually at night you um, dock on the shore. It seems like there's a spot. Uh, very new to the Isles itself. Uh, it has, it looks like it has uh, a road going up north. Uh, it's m not a very well used road from what you can see from here. Uh, definitely signs of uh, fishes having camped in here, charcoals in the ground, stones in a circle, a couple of places where the uh, grass itself has kind of like, there's, there's points where bedrolls have been rolled up um, and that's where old Joe docks the ship and he says the hours are up north they just make an hour or two on foot just follow the shore the water is not that uh, deep and you should be able to swim from one to another he smiles unless you have more coin I am large enough to walk, I assume. Well, I can carry this one. It's about. Uh, I'd say what? Eight feet? Something like that? You look big enough. Uh, jokes on you, I am nine feet tall. You look big enough. You do just fine. Now. If there's any stuff maybe you want to weave in case you don't return, we'll happily keep it here for you. Don't call me Cheryl. I shall start, um. I shall start walking north. I shake my head. I say no thanks. I think I'm going to need everything I have. I'll see you in two so days. Thank you. Ah, uh, Davy, bring me the pipe. And he kind of slumps against the, uh, slumps against the tree and starts uh, doing this. Uh, uh, uh. And no one sees it because we're already going. <laughs> yeah. So you guys uh, just put it out there. You guys have traveled about six, seven hours. So it's night now. Okay. Yeah, I told okay. you it will take the whole day. So, you walk up uh, the shore. Um, for it takes you about an hour. Uh, it's almost complete darkness because the sun is down. The moon hasn't come up yet. Do you have any source of light that you use? Um, what is your weapon again, Dawn Gazer? A flail. So I touch Dawn Gazer's flail and I cast light on it. And there's a twenty foot uh, radius of light around you. You guys um, you. see a dense yeah, like patch of woods to your right side, and just water the sea to your left. Eventually, you reach a point uh, where you see the water is getting shallower, and in the distance, as the moon starts to rise, you start seeing small little isles strewn about. Uh, and this uh, not so deep water. 
you see patches of uh, woods in, on some of the irons even one of them in the back seemingly has a small hill on it that's quite um, visible from where you are right now is the water clear by the way the water is clear yes Okay. Can it go live? I mean, do they have dark vision? No, right? No. Okay. Okay, so, um, you guys, um, are <laughs> in front of the aisles. What do you do? So, the aisles, we, oh. we were told that they were eight foot tall. Like, the, the wave... Like the water to get in there. The water, foot. the water, uh, deep. So it, how deep the water is? It's about eight feet. Uh, that's what old Joe told you. Okay, let's let's test this. Um, I'm gonna just start walking into the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I guess I'll like okay. take I'll take my shirt off and I'll I'll take my like, little flail and my like backpack and put it on like one shoulder. So you start walking. Um, it seems. It seems that uh, it is about eight feet. You can, so it's easily, um, it's easy for you to move. It's well moving at half speed, of course, but you can move in here. If Sunari needs help, I can have her on the other shoulder, so I can have all my gear, and then I can have. Like, can you Sunari. carry all that stuff? Though? I am really strong <laughs> because of being being a Goliath means I get like the um, strength. Um, so I get like pretty much double my strength. Really. Uh, well, yeah, if, yeah. That is, if that does work, then I'm totally... I mean, I swim towards him, I just sit down on his shoulder. <laughs> you sit down on his shoulder as he, he easily moves. Now, and I just, clutch the, I I just are... clutch the spear in my hands. It's probably the most epic scene ever. <laughs> so, there's a, as I said, there's a couple of aisles around. Which one do you actually <clears throat> visit? Because there's the, a... The so, there's a one. one with a hill. There's a one with what seems to be a small forest in it. Let's go to the hell one. Okay. I mean, let's let's go. If to you the feel hill. at home there, <laughs> mm -hmm. let's go to. And that. there's one a lot more. You can see it. You, you just are looking up north. You can see one where there's an actual mountain. So there's a small kind of island that connects it. That is connected to this other island that has a mountain on it. So if you look on the map, this is the one here. Let's go to the mountain one then. This is the one here. So this is like a small island over on here, all forested, connecting to this point over on here, which uh, seems to be a small mountain. Um. Oh, okay. Then let's go to the mountain one, I guess. It's not like we have any idea which one could be You the have absolutely no idea. <laughs> no idea. So you have a small, like, there's a patch of forest on one, there's a hill on another one, and there's this one over on here. Mountain one. Okay, so which one do you go at? Mountain one. Okay, mountain. so going to the mountain one would take you about three hours to travel on foot to the on shore, and then maybe another, what, 20 minutes to get uh, through the water in it. Okay, I'm okay with that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Because you are at the end, you are at the edge, so you're basically here. Mountain one. Okay. Uh, okay. So you guys follow on. Uh, you at about three or four a.m. You're not quite sure. The moon is up, so you can see a lot better. You make it in front uh, on the shore of the isles around here. You walk through the water about uh, what seems to be. 20 minutes, it takes some time, movement is quite slow, and you get to this first aisle over on here, that connects to the big aisle in the back. This is a sparsely wooded area, uh, you don't see much in front of you, but you hear the buzzing of very many crickets. Hmm. So... There are no, no traces or anything on the beach? You, uh, well, where you are right now, you don't see anything. Do you investigate the beach? Sure. 
Okay. Uh, as, I mean. No, no, you don't need to give me anything yet. Uh, you just you start investing. You start walking on the shore, and you find what seem to be weird totems uh, made out of wood and bone, uh, carved in very many different ways. Mm -hmm. Not one of them is similar to another. Okay. So we're talking like a. Uh, um What's that movie? The we're, we're not talking about which? Indian totems. We're talking about totems of like full-on faces of creatures. We're talking uh, like creatures. the Blair Witch Project shit where there's like teeth in these things. Yes, yes. Damn. Bones. You need to shake Spooky. your camera now. That's, that's the part where you're searching. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, very good, very good. Uh, <laughs> uh, I love my I'm dead, mom. guys. Rest in pieces. Rip. I mean, rip in pieces, my mistake, sorry. <laughs> okay, so uh, um, you guys are... So I've never seen something like that before, right? You've never seen something like this before. How, how tall are these totems? They're about... They, they range from two feet tall to the highest one being about five feet tall. Are they humanoid skulls as well? Um, like human skulls? see. The ones that you find... Uh, only one of them seems to be vaguely human. Hmm. It could also be ape. You're not okay. sure. But it doesn't look like all the sailors disappeared here. Can I make a can I make a nature check to distinguish the two? Uh yeah, definitely. Yar har fiddly dee. Pirate now. Being a pirate something something. Nope. No nope. bad you... rolls today, I am not smart. You you it's... are not smart, you have no idea. <clears throat> Oh, my nature's only plus two. I'm just saying. Okay, so, what uh, what do you do next? Are they just guess, random? Do they just randomly appear? Uh, yes, they complete. They they randomly appear. So it doesn't seem like there's any order to them. None of them are similar to each other. I poke one. <laughs> you you poke one. <laughs> Roll for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what do you do next? Is there a path or something leading away from the beach? Like something that looks like it's used, actually? Like an animal me, track or whatever. Give me an investigation check, both of you. Jesus. But no trick yet. I, I ain't smart. I ain't that smart. Was your, you're the fighter here. You have to protect me then in the end. I mean, not the I fighter, no, but you know what I'm no talking fighter. about. You know what I'm talking about. A tank, I believe. Oh, true. natural twenty, Chucky. What do I know? So now I you get find, it. Well. you find something. So you find what seems to be. <laughs> you find nothing. You, okay. you seem to be drag marks and uh, and like the soil, uh, and you see, you find blood. But in this drag marks, you find like clawed drag marks, and you find <laughs> blood and nail. And as you go on, you find a severed hand. Mm -hmm. Beneath a bush, like right, actually not beneath, but behind it. Okay. What kind the of drag marks continue on? It's a human hand. Ooh. I poke the hand. <laughs> oh, you poke Stop the skeleton. This. Don't don't touch it. It's I mean, uh, it's not good if you touch. Too it. late. I am yeah. sorry. Okay. So you are at the edge of the forest area, and here, um, you found a hand and drag marks going on deeper <clears throat> into this area. Shall we follow the mask? What do you say? I guess that's yes. why it's here, right? We should move quietly. Uh, can can you move quietly? Maybe. <laughs> okay. I start sneaking. <laughs> okay, give me both. I'm not even wearing. I'm like not wearing checks. any armor, so I shouldn't be too loud. Well, armor does give you a disadvantage in some cases, but then again, it's always the imagine, imagine a cloud giant or something who doesn't wear armor wow. and is trying to sneak. I mean, come on. It's okay. It's okay. It's better than I average. am sneaky. Technically it's, it's, speaking, it's, I am a medium sized creature. I'm actually worse because I just wanted to So you're basically just not paying attention too much. You're kind of like stepping in all the sticks and all the Oh, am I worse than this nine feet tall guy? Yeah. Yep. Fuck my life. Don Gazer is like, shh. And I'm just like, whoop, 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 through the jungle. Very good. No, you're actually more moving normally. 
Um, because usual passive perception is like 9-11, that's kind of the range of passive perception. So this is you... <laughs> My passive stealth is in line. <laughs> Very good. So you, you're just, tr you're normally moving, basically. I'm like, I'm like going up to a tree and then I'm like hiding behind the tree. Like, you see like this really big guy go up to like this tiny tree and it's just like, full into some There's just a straw hat behind the tree. Yeah. I mean, compared to... <laughs> okay, so, um... You guys continue on moving, following the drag marks. At a certain point, the drag marks stop, and there's a puddle of dried blood just in front of you, right there. I poke the blood. You go towards the I blood, and your head bumps uh, into something. Don't touch that stuff. <laughs> My head bumps into something? What does yeah. it bump into? You look up, and it's a skeleton of a human, half decayed, String up by his feet. I poke the skeleton. Nope. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, you poke the skeleton and you can hear maybe five or six bells kind of in, in it going. Are there any. Um... I poke it again. Can you. No, stop it. Just stop it. The skeleton Please, falls is... on the ground. Oh, this is disgusting. In a very huge manner. Like, it's. It's like a thump and bew, and enjoy, enjoy. the bells and it starts start winging widely as it falls. <laughs> we should be we should move quietly. Whose idea was that again? Yeah. Give you perception checks. Hey, Alright, so you're going to kill us all in the first session. Jesus Christ. That's the plan! Hey! <laughs> it's not my plan. What was my perception again? Five. How do you know? You're better than I. You should play a character. You've already rolled it. Well, uh... I'm getting all the ones out, so when we fight, it's going to be... <laughs> well, I, I should have passed a perception, Don't get right? Uh, Don't get You see what seems to be a shadow moving through the bushes. They're moving, it's moving towards you. I transform, I use wild shape and I transform into a brown bear. Do I, do I not get my, my passive perception at least? Okay, uh, no, not in this one, no. Oh, because sucks. you're not, uh, so passive per perception goes in when you are actively looking for something. And when you you're are not, not actively looking. When you're not actively looking, it doesn't work. You need to say, like, I'm moving through the forest and I'm, I'm looking everywhere. And that's when your passive perception goes in. Because you move at half speed, then your passive perception is always passive looking. perception is when you're not looking actively for something. Yeah, exactly. That's how it works. No, when you're not looking actively, yes. It's so why it's rolling. passive. Yes. So, I mean, you'd get passive perception. Nonetheless. Right? Nonetheless. <laughs> Don, Never mind. <laughs> Don Gazer would be the one I to get I see a it. shadow and I, I, He's a gaze it, I over transform us. into a brown bear. You transform into a brown bear, and I have a heart uh, attack in the meantime. You have a heart attack in the meantime <laughs> as creatures jump out of the Jeez. bushes. You see three of them, oh, extremely weird, degenerate fish-like manoids that seem to have just giant uh, yellow eyes that glow in the dark. They're dressed in what seems to be uh, like their natural armor, like hide on them, and bones. Skulls and bones are on their necks. Their skins is purple, purple to blue, and their feet are clawed. <sighs> and we'll do initiative after our break. So we'll see you guys hey. in two minutes for Yay. the next yes, part hi. of our intermission adventure. <laughs> see you guys in two minutes. <laughs> <laughs>